Hi guys! This is the hair tag that I'm going to do. And so I, somebody, every video that I watched for the hair tag, they all tagged everybody, so I'm just going to do it myself. I am from Bronx, New York, but I'm, um, I was raised in Virginia, and then I eventually lived live in Georgia right now, in Atlanta, Georgia. The natural hair scene in Atlanta, Georgia is amazing. Um, it's a lot of naturals everywhere I go. I'm right now, I'm in college, so I feel like 80, or I feel like 70% of the African Americans at this school, which is a lot of African Americans, especially at my school specifically, are natural. So it's very encouraging to see all these black women out here with their natural hair out. It's just beautiful. I went natural for many reasons. Um, I had a video previously why I decided to go natural, but I'll explain right here. I decided to go natural because my perm hair was breaking out the back of my hair, and it was also like messing around with like the front of my hair. And also, I wanted something new. I was the type of person when I had perm hair to um, cut it up, do mohawks. I did all. I did all the Rihanna hairstyles I can possibly think of. So now. I was so around two thousand so in two thousand and twelve I decided to stop getting perms two thousand twelve in August and I went natural and I cut off my transition hair um in February two thousand thirteen. And so now it's almost two years natural in one more month actually. So that's very exciting. I transitioned for five months. And so I chopped it off because I when I, t I had box braids in actually, and when I when I took the box braids out, my hair my permed hair mixed with my natural hair during my transition transition period was getting so tangled when I was detangling after I took out the box braids. So I realized that it's time for me to go all the way natural. So the next day after I took my box braids out, I went natural. I had been natural for two years almost two years so maybe a year and like 11 months and some days but we're not gonna get all that crazy right now you know almost two years actually my favorite hair product right now is the eden all natural cleaning cleansing co-op i have no idea how long my natural hair is in terms of like actual measurements but when I pulled like the front piece of my hair, it like goes to like right hair, and then I'm not sure about. Let's see if you can see. It goes right to my collarbone, and I'm a tall girl. I'm about five eight, so yeah, and I I, I think I have like a pretty decent long neck, but yeah, it's down to my collarbone, and then like the front piece. I really don't want to mess with the front. Okay. It goes to like right here. So. Well, my hair type is actually 4C. Um, there's no other mixture. Well, there's probably actually like a four, 3A in the back. Crazy. I feel like that's because of my perm. When I had the perm, it was making my hair fall out. So I feel like it like permanently strained it. So I might not even be a 3A. It's probably like... 2a really because it's like super straight like there's no way it's just like and it doesn't even grow that fast so i really don't even know if that's even part of my texture i don't know but besides that that's irrelevant besides that, i'm basically 4c all around so yeah but do i like hair typing it works for me when it comes to finding other girls on youtube or males on youtube who have my hair texture and i want to figure out hey how do I do this down? How do how will the results come out? Or um, if I want to just see what product works for them, maybe I'll go out and try it. And if it don't work, I'm returning it. My go-to style is definitely a twist out. Not because of how cute it is, really. It's just because how like easy going it is. I twist some hair and I go on with life. I really don't do too much. I mm, I guess I do a lot 
but not really i really just stick to my twist styles but if i really feel like creative i might do like a band tune out nothing too crazy but since i'm in college it's really important for me to just stay really low maintenance so i do a lot of protective styles lately because i don't want to fool around with my hair i just took out my crochet braids yesterday and now i'm rocking a bantu knot out and it's still wet i wanted to make this video crazy my advice to people struggling with natural hair is to please 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 stick through it because it is so beneficial it makes you feel good i promise you like there's something about going natural that makes me feel good and other people that i know around me it makes them feel so much better it actually it motivated them to do other things in their life that they really didn't really think about mainly because um it promotes health going natural not only just it's like a new style but it also promotes healthy hair so when people think of healthy hair they want to think of they start thinking of their mind and their body and even their soul so i really want people to just stick through because there's a lot of good benefits that come with it and also if it gets really hard or really dry or especially your hair just watch youtube videos just look at vlogs find people who are like you i know when you first go natural you see a lot of people with a certain hair type and so but you just really have to just figure out okay who is one person on youtube that i can find that looks just like my hair maybe not exactly but really similar and you'll be all right also trim girl trim your hair i cannot stress that like people always trying to get length over health and even though people say they want health over length it tends to not be actual truth they want they want length more than health so i'm just begging that everybody out there chooses health because when you have healthy hair you will you will get length well, that's my hair tag, guys. I just want to thank you for watching my video. And I will make more videos um, for the next week. And the next week, I'm really trying to keep that consistent schedule of every Saturday or Sunday or even Friday. Depends on how, you know, college life is very tedious. So I'm just going to follow either those three days. And I hope to see you next week. Bye.